Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina, Texas Barnominiums. Welcome back. Today I am at the job site and WD Metal Buildings is here. They're going to put a roof on this building. I'm going to show you how they do that. Stick around. So they're removing the cover sheet. The top sheet is only for protection. So this is a PVC panel. PVC, the reason it's called the PVC is because it has this leg right here. This is called a purlin bearing leg. See how it sweeps up? This one goes down. This is the old, the old C panel. It was symmetrical. It had this one would stop right here. But you can imagine there was no support on the purlin, so that's why they make now what's called a PVC panel. All right, so before you put the roof on, you wanna make sure that you have it in the correct orientation. For example, this is a PVC panel. So this, as it sweeps down, as opposed to this one where it sweeps up, this is for your lap. So this is your edge. This one is gonna be on this side of the building. So these guys, just by looking at the panels, that tells me they're going to start here and work their way that way. Typically, they have a machine that they use for these uh, to get the sheets on the on the roof. But because these are pretty short sheets, they're just going to use the skid steer and push them all the way up to the roof like that. And of course, you have the two guys up there on the lifts. They're going to make sure they get it on there correctly. What I mean by that is. They want to have the correct overhang on both sides, which is about, let me ask them. I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know if it's going to have gutter. Obviously, if it has gutter, it's going to have more overhang. I'm sorry, backwards. If it has gutter, it's going to be less overhang than if it doesn't. And just looking at it up there right now tells me it doesn't have gutter. Look up here, and they're letting it stick over uh, about two ribs. That's how much they're letting it stick out past the side. All right, so here they are marking where the screws are going to go. And uh, let me show you where the screws are supposed to go. You have one here on the very first valley. Then you skip one, two, three on the fourth one. There's another screw. One, two, three, four. One more screw. And then one, two, three, four. That's this screw. Goes right here. That's on the, on the overlap, okay? It's gonna lap over here. So that's where the screws go. And obviously, once you're done, you add more screws. And that's probably gonna be here for your base angle. On the edges, you can add more screws here. We'll show you that once they get it up there. So as you can see, these guys are making really fast progress. <laughs> it goes by really fast. So right now what they're doing, they're only tacking. They're not doing all the screws right now. They're simply putting tacks on the screws. This guy's feeding them more sheets. And this guy's marking them. So they're actually not drilling these, these sheets. They're simply marking them. And then, uh, you know, they just put a screw right in the mark, in every mark. All right, so as you can see, they're already at the end. They gotta do the last sheet. And like I told you, 
the reason they started this way is because this this side this is where you're supposed to start but when you get to the end you're gonna end on this side which is obviously not gonna look right so what these guys are gonna do they actually take this sheet and they rotate it 180 and then instead of cutting it once they get up there if it overhangs too much they can overlap it you know one more rib if they need to or two or whatever they need to get the overlap or the overhang that they want in order to get the right overlap or overhang that they want they had to overlap it uh, one two three four five six seven ribs up here but it doesn't matter uh, that's how they get it instead of cutting the sheep that's a much better approach obviously you can't do that with our panel if you had our panel you'd have to cut it and that's why oftentimes well I don't want to say oftentimes I say 100% of the time when you have our panel on a pitch roof they always have to trim this side over here because a lot of times they have to cut the sheet all right so we are at the end and they're gonna put a cover trim of course this is a continuous roof it's a little different than the pitch roof right, so now they're putting clear silicone on the trim before they put it down you can see that they're using a closure so they can space it out properly Alright, so I'm going to show you how they space it out using the uh, closure. This is literally what the sheet is going to look like when they move it over. So, that's where the rib's going to hit the low and then the high is going to hit there. So let me move it over so you can see. That's what it's going to look like. That also tells you where to put the screw so it's hidden. Cool little trick right there. Alright, so... While he was doing all this, he had it secured with one screw here, one screw over there. You never want to walk on top of a sheet unless it's secured because it can very easily just slide right off. So be extremely careful with it. All right, so the screws that they are using are called SAC Lifetime Screws. You see it has an umbrella to protect the washer. So. These screws are also plated, so they will literally last a lifetime. All right, so they found damage on one of these sheets. See that right there? It's got a small crack. So what they're gonna do, is they're gonna remove it, they're gonna swap it out, with one of those down there. The problem is those two down there are cover sheets. But at least they don't have a hole. So what they're gonna do, they're gonna replace it for now until they get a new one. Then they're gonna come back and replace the replacement with a new sheet. But at least the replacement doesn't have a hole. That's the plan. <laughs> he got three out of the four in the previous hole and of course you can't see the hole
if you will notice the roof doesn't have any screws over here where they were putting the marks on the bottom the reason for that is because the guy on the bottom is putting in the foam closures as these guys are working on on top now all the closures are in now they're going to go ahead and put in all the, all the screws along the edge here and on that side when you get to the edge over here you want to add additional screws right there right on your base on your on your rake angle all the way another thing you're going to notice is that every time they drill a hole there is metal shavings that come off all these metal shavings end up on the roof so what you want to do after you're done putting in all your screws you want to get rid of all these metal shavings otherwise they're going to rust with moisture up here and they're going to transfer that rust onto your roof so just take a leaf blower and blow them all off simple as that So they're going to replace that screw. I'm going to show you another one. See how this one, how the washer squirted out. It didn't squirt out completely, but they're going to replace it anyway. So they're easy to see the ones that, that are bad. All right, so now they're just going to give the entire roof just one, one last look over, make sure there's nothing wrong with it before they get off the roof. All right, there you have it. That's how you put on a roof, on a continuous roof metal building. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. We are Texas Barnum Mediums.